Hi, good morning everyone. This is your teacher Urvashi Naran. So today we are going to learn about dispersal of seeds. So let us start. Dispersal of seeds. Plants disperse their seeds by different means. Seeds make it disperse by wind, water, fire or animals. Some plants even shoot their seeds out exclusively. Plants like the pea, beans, soya bean, etc. spread their seed effectively without any extra help. They spread their seeds by violent explosion of their pods. All these plants depend on the sun for their seed dispersal. As a pod dries in the sun, tension is set up in the walls eventually, causing it to split along two lines of weaknesses. Then the two halves curl back suddenly and flick out the seeds within an explosive manner. Some plants such as tecoma and dandelion disperse their seeds by wind. These plants produce small light seeds that are covered by outgrowths. These structures help the seeds stay longer in the air and spread far away. The seeds of dandelion plant covered by hair like outgrowths that act as a parachute and carry the seeds over great distances. Tecoma plant have light winged seeds. The wings help the seeds stay afloat in air and travel long distances away from the parent plant. Clematis, cotton, milkweed and maple are some other plants whose seeds are dispersed by wind. Some plants that grow in or near water bodies like lotus and coconut disperse their seeds by water. The seeds of these plants are adapted to float on water. Coconuts have thick fibrous outshell that makes them light and waterproof and helps them to float on water. The seeds of lotus plants are dispersed along with the fruit. The fruits are light and spongy. As a result, they float on water for long distances. The seeds of foxgloves, mangroves and sea beans are also dispersed by water. Plants like fig, tomato, strawberry and orange produce fruits which are fleshy and edible. Their seeds have hard protective shell. When animals eat such fruits, the seeds are not digested and passed out along with their feces. As animals keep moving around, the seeds are dispersed away from the parent plant. Plants such as trollius, cockleber, Castor and bird dog produces seeds which have hooks or spines. These seeds get attached to the fur of the animals or clothes of people who pass by the plants. This way the seeds are carried and deposited in different places. When people cut fruits and vegetables and throw away the seeds they aid in the seed dispersal too. I hope you all have understood the class. So now you have to collect various kinds of seeds from these different kinds of plants you learned about in this video. All you have to do is collect these seeds in Ziploc pouch and preserve them until the school reopens.